Good afternoon. Welcome to our move to France. Where are we going? We are going to a neighbour across the road who used to play here as a child. So he's going to tell us some history about the property. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. So we're taking a cake. He's uh, French speaking only. Yep. So our lovely new neighbour, who speaks very good English, is going to do all the translating for us. So what we can gather, his dad used to work here and he used to play as a child. Um, I think that's the family before the chap who we bought the house off, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't think we're going to go back any further. I've taken the got pen and paper, so if there's any names and chucks out there, we might be able to research. I don't know, can you? Yeah. Well, once we've got my name, I'll be able to find, hopefully find out who owned it. So, yeah, we've got pen and paper and fingers crossed. We might find something interesting out. Hopefully. We've been waiting to do this for a while, haven't we? I've been waiting since we moved here. Well, we not. I think they were on holiday and then... They seem like quite a busy, retired couple. I'm hoping to find my scar. I see you wrapped it around Tilly earlier on. Right, so the girls in the trees, I'm listening to, to some of the comments that we've got um, about they're too close together. So we've now... Moved them back. Moved them back. And we've now spreaded them apart and also taken some additional trees that were along here and planted them on the other side. Yes. Because um, we do realise now they're going to grow quite big. Obviously, as you can see, spread. some of them we can't move back because there's logs in the right. way. So they are going to, we realise, spread quite far out. So hopefully, um, yeah, we've taken some advice. Yep. Yeah, they go. Indeed. Right. Stop it here and we'll pick up when we come out. Bye bye. Good afternoon. Hello. We've just um, been to the neighbours across the road, which is what we filmed prior to us going. We've just come out. Um, the couple, very lovely couple, um, it's just the gentleman that remembers anything to do with the house because his wife didn't live in this area. Um, so I think she's only been here. She's been here a while. Well, she's been here a while. I think about 40 years, is she? 40 yeah. years. He can only go back to 1950, which is when his dad used to... Um, look after the grounds and his mum used to clean the property and he as a boy or a child uh, would go over and play over there um, we have invited him to come over at some point um, she might jog his memory on some of the things was discussing whether the stairs still had carpet on it which we said it did but he, um, he can remember some bits <laughs> but I think once he comes over to the property it'll jog his memory the path that we uncovered <coughs> or should I say the slabs that we uncovered in the garden used to be a garage um, he said so at least we know what that was um, it was owned by two sisters uh, that lived in Paris or was that when one of the sisters uh, died? I think one sister used to live there. The other sister lived in Paris. And one of the sisters died. And the other sister used to come down. From Paris. Once a year for a month from Paris. Yeah. Um, and then the, the sister sold the property to the church. No, gave it to the church. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, you're right. One of the sisters... The, the living sister. The living sister give the house to the church. Now I'm not sure if she give the house and the contents, but that's who 
um, the chap we bought it off of, he bought it from the church. Yeah. So we've gone from yeah. 1950 up to 1976 with owners, haven't we? Yeah, but I now need to type in. So anything um, prior to that, we've got to do research for. He, cause I assume the names that he gave us were their surnames, because when I asked for their surnames, he then gave me the first name. But they've got two different surnames. Well, they which... would those two sisters or girls who probably got married. No? Well, I don't know. Well, yeah, I would have thought that, but... Why were they both living at the property then? Without partners? Well, maybe their husbands have died, I don't know. Oh. They must have inherited it from their parents, perhaps. The two sisters. And their husbands passed or something, and they... they... Well, it was very interesting. Right. We took our other neighbour, who was brilliant because he interpreted... Interpreted. Interpreted. <laughs> interpreted. <laughs> everything for us so we was able to ask questions and then obviously relay um, information back and forth but he hasn't the chap that played there as a boy been to the property since 1970 so um, he's really looking forward to coming and having a look round anyway we call it a chateau now can't we we have found out yeah, we can actually call it a chateau. There you go, then. it's now called a chateau, isn't that? The, the channel will no longer say uh, almost a chateau. Now, look, this is on the way to. Um, Scared the out of me, then. Right. Anyway, what was interesting as well is they were saying that um, the village don't. Um, or the commune doesn't hold any events or do anything. They used to. They used to, but they don't, and they haven't done for two years, for two years now. Yes. So what we've said is we quite enjoy the social aspect and um, getting neighbours and people together. When we did in our rented place, we held a barbecue Sorry. outside Ukraine, for the Ukraine um, family that... Um, located to the village and also for some of the local villagers so we said we'd be quite happy once a year to hold a barbecue um, for all the neighbours to come along to yep. so we can all get to know each other and bring a bit of the community back but then there's apparently a lot of enemies in the village like family, there's a lot enemies. of people that don't that get don't on like but you're going to get that wherever you go and I think if you hold a barbecue you want to come, you want to come, you don't, here, you though, don't. Everyone lives that far away from each other. You wouldn't get that. I get that in the UK where you or America or other places where everything's right next door to each other and, you know, you, you end up having arguments because someone's you parking over your driveway. You don't know what the arguments have been over. Well, it no, could no, have been no. over land or yeah, something. No. God knows what. But, um, so there's a small river at the bottom, though, that road behind Patrick's Barn. I don't know. That's obviously is. where the water source that we're entitled to tap yeah. into. That's where the, the pump that he was talking about pumping probably came from. Yeah. They won't understand it, do they? No, I don't even know why you're saying it. Oh, well, I'll show them. Um, go around. Yeah, so now we've got something to go by. I know we're waiting for the paperwork from the notier, but the six months is up in December. To be honest, in December, I'm just going to go and ask him for the paperwork. Because once we've got that, we can just go and research um, well, yeah, in theory, all the previous like, owners. If I recall, that, 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 that almost took it back, if not to the original owner. But it doesn't matter because this is why of meeting new neighbours, or our new neighbours. So it, it doesn't matter to me. But um, I very think nice they were very nice. And I, I did say next year and we have good weather we will send out some invites and whoever wants to come along come along and I think it's important to when you're living in the community like in these little pockets I think it's nice to look out for each other and if there's something that someone else can offer a hand in doing something for someone else and vice versa 